everyone, Petal is blessed here. I'm coming on today to show you how to take these items and turn them into this lovely piece of wall decor. So if you want to see how I put it all together, you know what time it is. It's time to let's get started. Okay, I have an 18 by 24 canvas here. And I have some acrylic mirrored tiles. This one is a six by nine and the smaller ones are six by six. So we are just gonna start out by laying our pattern down onto our canvas in the pattern that I want it to go. And if you're new here, I'd like to say welcome. I'm your host, Petal is Blessed. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you clicked on to see our video today. And I hope that you will press that subscribe button and press the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another DIY to share and to my oldies and goodies thank you for coming on and seeing the glam mirror that I am gonna make with you all today so now I'm gonna use some E6000 to place down our mirrors <laughs> now they do come with a self adhesive on the back so we're just gonna remove that and add some of our E6000 going around for extra support and these mirrors have um, a protective flim over them. That's why they look kind of smoky. So we're going to leave them on until we're completely finished. Now for this wall art, I have four canvas, four canvas boards that I will be putting together. So this is the first pattern on this canvas board. And here is the second pattern that I will be using. So for this pattern, I have a small one here, the six by six, and I have one of the six by nines right above it. So here are all four boards put together. I have two with the two small ones in the middle and I have two with a small one and a large one in the middle. So now I'll be adding some crushed glass that I got from Michaels and I'll be using some Mod Podge to place them down. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush and apply the Mod Podge <laughs> going up and down the canvas. And now it's time to sprinkle our crushed glass. And then I'm just going to go over lightly and press it down onto the canvas. So I'm just going to continue adding the Mod Podge and then adding the crushed glass going right around our canvas. Okay, so now I'm finished with the crushed glass. I'm just gonna lift up our canvas and let all the ones that didn't stick fall off. That's why I have some paper towel at the bottom to catch the excess crushed glass that didn't stick. And if there's any space left open like I have right here, just add some more Mod Podge and some crushed glass. And now for our next canvas the board where we have a small and a large in the middle. <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat the same steps, adding the Mod Podge and then adding the crushed glass going all the way around our canvas. Mm -hmm. 
Now after I drain off the excess crushed glass that didn't stick down, I'm going to set it aside to dry for a few hours. Okay, it's been a few hours and our crushed glass is all dry. So I'm going to go over it with some more Mod Podge. And I'm going to add some of this silver glitter and also some black glitter. And I'll also be using some of this silver glitter also. <laughs> so we're just going to go over with the Mod Podge everywhere to help seal in the crushed glass. We won't have any falling off of our decor when we hang it up. Okay, so I'm going to add some of these glitter flakes. They're little triangle glitter flakes that I got from Michaels. <laughs> then I'm adding some regular glitter. And now it's time to add our black glitter. I'm adding the black glitter to our decor because I want it to have a little deeper effect. Not as bright. It'll still be bright, but like with a little toned down of the silver, add some little black in there to give it an added touch. So I'm just going to continue with these four steps going all the way around our canvas. Now I'm doing the same thing on the other boards. Remember there's four of them I have all together. So I'm going to continue to add the Mod Podge add the different glitters and then I will set them aside to dry for a few hours. So our canvases are all ready so I'll be using some large command strips to hang them up on the wall. And here is our finished look. I love how it turned out. I used the um, command strips like I showed you and I placed the four canvases side by side on the wall. And I didn't take off the, um, the little plastic covering on the mirrors till after I hung them up because you know you have to press into the canvas to get the command strips on the wall and I didn't want to mess up the mirrors. So after you hang up your decor then you can remove the plastic flim off of the mirrors and don't they look lovely I love the crushed glass and also the black glitter it's the different effect that the black glitter gives to the decor I love it nice and simple glam decor on a budget <laughs> that's what I like I love doing things on a budget <laughs> a lovely spring refresh decor for my home so this is how it ties in with my living room I have a lot of mirror decors on the wall that I DIY all of them yes <laughs> but I love how this one turns out I think it looks really really nice so leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of today's DIY our nice glam mirror that we put up on the wall i think it turned out lovely and if you're new here once again i'd like to say welcome and thank you for coming on and seeing today's diy and i do hope you do click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified every time i upload another diy to share and i hope everyone gives me a thumbs up for today's diy crushed mirror wall decor yeah and remember i upload videos every wednesday and sunday <laughs> So remember to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye everyone.